Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. Today's video is part three in our 10 part series covering Samsung Goodlock here in 2024. If you're unfamiliar with Samsung Goodlock, Goodlock is a customization module that is designed by Samsung and it's designed to customize your Samsung Galaxy device. You can find Samsung Goodlock for free in the Samsung Galaxy store. It's ad free, it's made by Samsung, and again, designed for your device. For more information, please check out the first video in this series. Links will be down in the description. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. So today we're going to be covering two modules, QuickStar and Edge Lighting Plus. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our tutorial on QuickStar. Let's go ahead and hop in here. We're going to hit our three button menu up here just for thoroughness. We have the review page if you want to go out to the Samsung store and leave a quick review. And we also have the usual credits. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started by turning QuickStar on. All right, so this first option here is the one we're going to come back to last. Style your own quick panel. This is really awesome. We're going to spend a little bit of time in there. The first section we have is network information. So we have three toggles for home screen, lock screen, and expanded panel. So what's supposed to happen is when you turn these off, they're supposed to remove your network icons from both your top notification bar and also your quick panel. However, I've played around with this for like half hour or so, and I've noticed it not doing anything. Uh, I swore this worked back on versions of One UI prior to One UI 6.0, but on two devices that I have, one running One UI 6.1 and one running One UI 6.0, these toggles aren't doing anything even after a restart. So if you happen to know of anything about these three toggles, please drop a comment down in the comment section. I'll give you credit in the next video, and we'll go ahead and cover it. Now the system icons, however, these do do stuff. So what these are, are for your toggles up here. So for example, let's go ahead and toggle off Wi-Fi. And you'll see my Wi-Fi signal disappear. We can do the same for the battery icon. There's a battery icon up there. We can turn it off. So you can basically customize which indicators you want to appear up in your quick panel. Back to the quick star main screen. Let's go into clock settings. So this is actually pretty cool. This whole section is about showing our date time up here. So we can show the date up here in the top without having to swipe down like we normally do. So that's pretty awesome. We can show AM, PM. All right, you see it show up there in the top left corner. And we can show seconds. So where this applies is when you swipe down. Now you see it showing the seconds. Also, when you go to show date, you can actually tap into here and pick the format that you like. All right, so you see it change the format up there. So you have a lot of customization on how you actually want to show your date. And another cool thing too is if we go back here, we can actually adjust the position of where your date and time is going to show. So right now it's at the left, so we can align it over to the right. You see it popped it over there. And we can also hide that entirely if you don't want to see it at all. So some pretty cool functionality for adjusting your clock up top in your quick panel. Apply color palette to more notification icons. So what this pertains to is a custom color that you set your quick panel to which we're going to adjust in this top section here, style your own quick panel. And what's going to happen is, is when we style our own quick panel, these notification icons that come up in our notification panel, most of them are going to change color to match the color of your quick panel, but not all of them. So what this setting is doing right here, if we turn this on, this tries to force more of the icons to switch over to your color palette. This is very similar to the color palette that you set up in your wallpaper, except for your quick toggles. All right, for this next option, change quick setting button grid. When we turn this on, we're gonna get these uh, little indicators here for making it more wide and more narrow. And what this is pertaining to is your icon spacing up here in your quick panel, these icons right here. So let's go ahead and make a wild adjustment here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make them really wide. You're gonna see what happens here. <laughs> it gets really nuts, look how wide those are. Let's make it something a little more realistic. If you want to get a lot of icons on your screen at once, swipe down again, boom, now your quick panel is full of icons and you only have to go across two pages. And lastly, before we learn to style our own custom quick panel, you can actually adjust the width up top of where you want the uh, swipe down to be for your notifications in your quick settings. So what I mean by that is right now I have mine set up right in the halfway mark. So on the right hand side of my screen, if I swipe down, it's going to show notifications like you see here. Now, if I swipe on the left side of the screen, it's going to show my quick panel. All right, there we go. So we can go ahead and adjust the width of each one of those sections 
And look how cool this is. Like up top, it shows you exactly where it's gonna be. So I can bring it all the way over here, let's say. All right, now all of this section will be for notifications, all of this now. And you'll have this little tiny section for your quick panel. In addition to adjusting the widths, we can actually swap the position. So if you wanna swipe from the left side for notifications, you can just by hitting this little double arrow here. I think that's pretty sweet. All right, now let's move on to style your own quick panel. So when we go in here, we're gonna turn it on. So by default, you're gonna have some pre-installed themes for your quick panel. You can go ahead and pick one of these and you'll see it in real time. Watch, we can go ahead and swipe down. And here is our newly adjusted quick panel. That looks pretty sweet actually. Um, so you can pick any of these if you wanna play around with them and adjust them. But what we can also do is create our own custom quick panel. And here's something that's really interesting. It pulls up a default color and if you don't like working with this, because you're going to be changing all these colors in a little bit, but if it's just too much for your eyeballs, all you do is just go back twice, open it up again, start a new theme, it'll be a different color. So uh, if it's not pleasing to your eyes at first, just open that back up uh, and start with a color that's nice to work with. So we've got this green color here. So what we can do here is tap on each one of these circles and we can adjust that corresponding color for that section. So I'll go ahead and pick something here. All right, let's hit OK. All right, so that's that color. We'll go ahead and adjust this color. All right, cool. We can go ahead and adjust this color. We can adjust the color of our notification section there. So let's go ahead and make this something different. Also, you can tap into a color to like fine tune it here. All right, cool. Go ahead and do that. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Let's change this text color here. All right, we'll make it like black. All right, there you go. That's a little more visible. And we'll go ahead and adjust this color. And you just keep doing that for each one of these sections. Now, right now, it's really kind of tough to tell what it looks like, but here we can toggle between edit mode and the actual viewable mode of what it's gonna look like when you're completely done with it. So we'll go back to edit, and this is just a nice preview of what it's gonna look like. In addition to this, I should also mention that we're currently adjusting the quick panel for dark mode, all right? You see the moon up there, and I'm currently in the dark mode, you know, black background, white text. I prefer it on these OLED base panels. However, if you switch between dark and light modes, you can go ahead and toggle between both those quick panels and customize a quick panel for both dark mode and light mode, and this is where you do that at. Now, once you're happy with your selections, uh, granted, this is totally ugly, but uh, just an example, you're gonna go ahead and hit the download button here. We're gonna give it a name, all right? And now it's in our available My Theme section up towards the top. We'll go ahead and tap on it to highlight it. And we're gonna see this awful looking theme in action here. But I think you get the idea that you can just completely customize all of the colors on your quick panel. All right, and that wraps up Quickstar. Some pretty awesome stuff to completely customize your quick panel. Let's move on to Edge Lighting Plus. All right, before we hop into Edge Lighting Plus, a brief explanation of what it is. Let's hop into our settings, hop into notifications, and then you have notification pop-up style. And this is where you're gonna find your edge lighting style. So you go ahead and tap into here. So what this is, is every time you get a notification, it's gonna throw up this lighting around here. So you can turn it off completely. Pick basic here. You have all these other different ones that look a little bit different. You see how they're kind of changing going around just a little bit. And from here, we can also adjust the color of our edge lighting, right? So we go back there, you see it going in red. And if we go to advanced, we can also adjust the transparency, the width, and the duration. So these are your basic settings for edge lighting. Now we're gonna take this a step further with Edge Lighting Plus. All right, so let's hop into Edge Lighting Plus. All right, we have our three dot menu right here. Just app info, just for thoroughness. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn Edge Lighting Plus on. All right, so our first option is set custom style. So with this on, we can go ahead and tap in here and we have some craziness. So instead of just lighting going around your device when you get a notification come in, text message, an email, any alerts like that. You now have all these different, uh, I don't know, these different images, as well as some custom ones that you can pick from this list right here. So in addition to adjusting the edge lighting effect, we can go into color, and what this is gonna do is adjust the color of our notification pop-ups. You're gonna see this little pop-up change color. We'll go to red here. All right, it popped up in red. Now it's gonna pop up in yellow. Now, if you also want your edge lighting things to actually match your color, like let's switch this over to blue for a blue notification, you're gonna to toggle this color inner work toggle on, 
And what that does is make your edge lighting elements the same color as your notifications. So if we switch to red, you're going to see everything switch to red. In addition to that, we also have advanced. So this is where you can actually adjust the actual effect of how it looks like. So you see here we have this effect. Any one of these is going to change it just a little bit. It just changes how things come on screen. See how they just kind of change, how they're popping up differently? So it's a different effect for the particular image that you picked at the start for the effect. So we'll go back to the first one. So now we can adjust the size of it. We can make them super big if you want. Look at that. We can adjust the period of how long they're going to show up every time you get a notification. So we can make this really short. Now we have amount. So we can do very few. We can do many. You're going to have all kinds of them show up and just completely obliterate your screen if you pick that many. Not sure I'd recommend that. And then you have this rotation right here. So we can do a, I don't know, it just makes it spin around a lot faster. See how they're going like that? And if we make it really weak or none, there's none. So it's just popping up there without moving at all. So you can completely customize how you want your edge lighting effect to come in. This next option, style by keyword, which is also available in the main edge lighting settings as well. This setting, unfortunately, doesn't do anything. And I have tested this out thoroughly. If you've had any luck with it, please drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But basically, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to enter in terms here, like a contact, like the name of someone you know. You could put like mom or dad, Gmail, text, any type of notification. And what it's supposed to do is search your notification titles or the content itself. All right, you pick what you want to put in there. And it's supposed to change your notification, like we can change the color. We can completely customize our edge lighting whenever uh, a match comes in. So like if Gmail comes in, it's going to show this right here. Unfortunately, I can't get this to work. It doesn't do anything. I've added a whole bunch of different criteria on here. I've also hopped on Reddit to see if anyone's had any luck. Nothing. Nobody seems to be able to get this to work. So if you do have any luck, yeah, please reach out. I'd love to hear from you but uh, I don't notice this doing anything whatsoever. All right, so this next option is really awesome actually. Show app icon instead of custom style image. So I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a text so you can see what it looks like with this turned off. All right, it should be coming in. That's our custom style that we picked out there, all right? Now, let's go ahead and turn this toggle on. I'm gonna send myself another text. Check that out. It's our text messaging icon. So it actually replaces whatever you picked with the actual icon of the application. I think that's actually pretty cool. Let's you know exactly what kind of notification you're getting. So this next option, only available when the screen is turned off. So by default, with this turned off, you're gonna get your notification and your edge lighting and all that, regardless of whether or not your screen is turned on or not. However, if you turn this on, and when your screen's on like this, like you know, right here in this video, you're not going to see your edge lighting take effect. Your edge lighting effects will only happen when your screen is turned off. All right, so this one's pretty self-explanatory. Double tap to open app. So what happens is, is when you get a notification in, like I had that text message come in, if you double tap it, it's just going to take you right into that application. All right, so this next option prevents swipe down. I don't know why they worded it like this, but basically what this does, when you turn this on and you get a notification in, let me go ahead and send myself something. All right, send a text, you quickly come in, swipe down, and that's going to clear everything out. And the faster you do that, the faster it's going to get rid of it entirely. So you can use a swipe down gesture to quickly get rid of the edge lighting effect. And our last option for edge lighting plus is show bright on when off screen. So another weirdly worded type of uh, setting here. So when we turn this on, it's going to prompt us to go ahead and enable another setting. So we're going to go ahead and turn on show even while screen is off. This is one of our main edge lighting settings, it's in the main settings. So now we'll go back to good lock here. All right, so now we can turn this on. Show bright on when off screen, how weirdly worded. All right, so now that this is on, we can go ahead and turn the device off and I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a text. All right, and here you go. It makes my screen super bright. Look how bright that pop-up is. So this is designed for when you're outside and you wanna make sure that you see these notifications come in. All right, and that wraps up our tutorial on Edge Lighting Plus. Now, before we wrap up, I want to thank this person right here for pointing out something. I forgot to show a little section in Navstar last week. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what I forgot to show you guys last week in Navstar. All right, with Navstar open and with the button configuration enabled instead of swipe gestures, we're going to go into new configuration. 
What I forgot to show last week was button layout. So once we're in here, we can actually adjust the alignment from default, right, and left aligned. And what we also have the ability to do, and this is really cool, and I'm really thankful this person mentioned this, for this reason, is we can add a custom button right here, and we can pick which button we want, and this also matches the functionality. So right here, if we want to go to our default internet browser, we can add this button right here. All right, and we'll go ahead and click Done. And we're going to go ahead and save. And you'll see here, I now have a globe at the bottom. Tap on that. It's asking me to pick a Chrome or Internet. So basically, you can add custom functionality to the bottom of your nav bar via these custom buttons. So there we go. This covers video three in our 10-part series of Samsung Goodlock here in 2024. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, Thanks for watching.